guys, we are going to be looking at another Euro Tackle uh, little soft plastic from their micro finesse section. This is going to be the Stonefly. So it's an eight pack, cost about four bucks. Uh, the green pumpkin color, and it is it's going to be the smallest lure that I've ever used. So it is 1.2 inches. I mean, this thing is tiny. Uh, the other smallest lure that I've ever used, I believe it's going to be the Trout Magnet, which is one and a quarter inches. So this guy is just slightly smaller. Got a whole bunch of little uh, appendages, I guess. The tail has a little bit of action over here. I think I'm going to fish this on a 164th ounce jig head just because that's going to be really small. It's going to be the easiest thing I could put this on. Uh, yeah, smallest lure I've ever used. Should be able to attract a whole bunch of fish, at least that's the plan. So we'll see how this works and how it compares to the Anisoptera and the B Vibe from my previous two videos. So let's give it a shot. All right, so here is a little bit of a better look at our lure of the day. Now, this thing is tiny. Like I said, only 1.2 inches, even on this uh, 164th ounce jig head. I think it's still a little small. If I had a lighter jig head, I'd fish it on that. I switched up to a different rod. This is my Queen Tetan, which is the lightest ultralight that I own. And I think that's going to be necessary to fish this tiny thing properly. But even so, this rod still might be a little bit too strong to fish this thing. It doesn't cast too well because it's too light. But we'll try to get a fish here. We'll just fish it slowly. Oh, oh, that was a little bite. So, I don't know, we're 15 minutes in or so. I'm getting not a lot of bites, but a good amount of bites. They're all just really, really tiny. And I mean, this, this lure is really, really small. So even these tiny fish, though, they still can't get the hook in their mouths. And I don't think I picked the best color either. This is, I think it was green pumpkin. But I mean, if you look at the color, it matches basically the grasses and the substrate here almost perfectly. So it doesn't really stick out. So probably could have made a better choice there, but this is all we got. So let's try to get a couple fish here. There's got to be one in here that's a little bit bigger. Oh, fish on. First one of the day. Trying to get him through all this is going to be tough. What is that? Oh, peacock. This took long enough. Oh. But we finally got our first fish on the stonefly. Nice little peacock bass. They're not too common in this lake. This is only my third one I think I've ever caught out of here. Definitely way more largemouths. But let's drop that guy back. Let's see what else we can get. Fish on. Oh, fish off. Little, little largemouth. Maybe six, seven inches. Uh, it has been a very slow day. A couple very small hits. Only the one peacock so far. Oh, fish on. That was a nice hit. Let's get this guy through all these weeds. That's been the story of the day the last several trips here. Trying to get these fish through all these weeds on this ultralight tackle. What is that? Either a peacock or a largemouth. It's got a bit of an elongated body. Ah, oh, peacock. Let's get this guy up here. Alrighty, so fish number two for the day is on the bank. Another nice peacock, a little bit bigger than that first one, I think. Nice colors on him, really nice glistening in the sun here. But let's let this one go. Oh, and let's try to get another one here. Action has been slow, so any fish is a, is a good thing right now. So 
So I've been trying to work this lure pretty slowly, letting it sink to, not the bottom, but pretty far down. It sinks super slow because it's a very small soft plastic, very light jig head. And then working it back in nice and slow with some very, very minor twitches of the rod tip here. Doesn't take much to make this lure move. The action on this thing isn't too great. I think it's too small to have really a great action on its own. So you just gotta give it a little bit to make it move. Fish on. Large mouth, I think. Let's get him up over this. All right, fish number three on the bank. A little large mouth bass. So numbers are picking up here. Still not a ton of fish on this little uh, stone fly, but I'm surprised the ones I have got have been an okay size considering the size of that little lure. Fish on, right out of that little hole, a little largey. All right, so not always, but a lot of times out of these little holes in between the weeds, you can usually find a little fish. So there's one little largemouth. That might be our last one. Let's see if we can get one more. Alrighty, so that is going to do it. Not necessarily a disappointing day, but not a stellar day either. Just, just kind of a meh kind of day. Uh, the stonefly, super, super tiny little lure. I would not use it again if I was specifically targeting panfish. I think it's just too small for that. The hook I used today was a little bit too big, even though it was only 1 64th ounce. Uh, next time I'd have to go maybe to like a 1 80th ounce, 1 100th ounce, something really, really small. And I think this lure is a little bit too small for even just like an average size 8 inch uh, bluegill or so. Uh, if I'm going to use this lure again, it's going to be to target some really, really small fish. Like I think maybe some creek chub in like a small little creek, something like that. If I was going to be targeting panfish or even larger fish, I'll stick to some of the other Euro tackle lures that I used uh, in the last couple of videos. So the Enosoptera, one and a half inch, I think that's a really good one for panfish. And the, uh, the B-Vibe, two inches, I think that's a really good one for kind of larger size panfish. The 1.2 inch stonefly, too small for panfish. i would probably use those for like more micro type fish. But I hope you guys liked it and I will see you next time.